Thank you, John. Our next speaker this evening is an American patriot dedicated to the principles of life, liberty, and limited constitutional government by the people. Fred Sauer, PhD, is the founder of the Show Us the Bill and Missouri Roundtable for Life. Please welcome Fred Sauer. It's an honor to be here. What a great country we live in. God bless the United States of America. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That governments are instituted to secure these rights, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. These beautiful principles on which our nation is founded have been under attack for a hundred years by a dedicated group of leftists who have a very different vision for our nation. Instead of a nation of free men governing themselves, keeping the fruits of their own labor, they envision a nation where a bureaucratic elite controls all the wealth and people of the nation. They can't say this publicly, so they pretend that their, their strategy is to pretend like they're going to give you something for a little bit of taxes that turn out always to grow where the promised benefit never arrives. So in the 30s, when the, when the Democrats controlled the House, the Senate, and the presidency under Roosevelt for the first time since before the Civil War, they, ran, they put through Social Security and the, the predecessor to Fannie Mae. Then under Johnson in the 60s, they added Medicare and Medicaid and more Fannie and Freddie. Then under Carter, when they had control of all three, the, the Congress and, and Carter, they did the Community Reinvestment Act and allowed uh, public employees to organize. And then under Clinton, they tried to pass national health care and failed. And now under Obama, they passed national health care. Always advanced the agenda forward increasing government control in our lives. Every one of their policies has been a disaster for the nation. Yeah. Fannie and Freddie bankrupt. The United States has assumed five trillion dollars of their debt. Medicare, 60 billion dollars, 60 trillion dollars of unfunded liabilities. Now we're going to get health care rationing. Social Security, let me give you some facts on that. The Social Security tax on an inflation-adjusted dollar. When Social Security started, if you had made $60,000 inflation-adjusted in today's dollars, you would have paid $900 in taxes. This year, you pay more than $9,000 on the same $60,000. And the Congressional Budget Office just announced this year that Social Security is surprise, surprise broke. There's no money to pay, even this year, for people who are retiring. If you, had, if you take, had had the average wage, the median wage, 45 years ago, and retired in 2008, and you had withheld those payroll taxes and invested them yourself in six-month CDs, at the actual rates of six-month CDs, you would have accumulated $300,000 from which you could fund your retirement. A draw of 5% on that $300,000 would provide you with more than Social Security promised to provide you. So had you kept your own money and invested it, you'd have $300,000 and the income stream. Under Social Security, the government's taking your money, spent it all, and you have no principal and now no backing of the income stream. If you'd invested the money in a blend of stocks and, and six-month CDs, you'd have $600,000 from which you could draw twice the income of Social Security and you'd be a very wealthy man. So, in, so massive ripoff. In response, what do we need to do? We need to organize just like they have and see the goal and achieve it. So we need to win the election. We need to get government out of the business of stealing our retirement money. We need to get government out of the business of health care. We need to get government out of the business of, of uh, automobiles, of housing, drastically shrink the federal government, return to constitutional government. 